dejected, perhaps a bit uh, a disgruntled Johnny Valiant. Is that not correct? Well, Vince, you may have reason for saying such a statement or making such a statement like that, rather. But I'll tell you something right now, Vince McMahon, and ladies and gentlemen out there, you people know that I have a legitimate gripe in the matter of losing the championship belts. Let me tell you something right now, what I'm talking about, baby. I was outside that ring in Madison Square Garden, my friends, over that top rope, hit the concrete down there, hit my head in the concrete, and the stars came out like they never did before. I merely tried to get back into the ring, and what happened right there, ladies and gentlemen? Let me tell you what happened right there. The referee went ahead and he rang the bell. As far as I know, next minute I know, here I'm in the midst of a, a high dive on this Tito Santana, whereby I shouldn't have even belonged in the ring. They beat the wrong man, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hey, there's no way anybody could ever beat the Valiant Brothers, let alone the team of Tito Santana and Ivan Putsky. But let me tell you something right now, ladies and gentlemen, Baltimore Civic Center, it's going to be a little different story. It's going to be, gentlemen, Jerry, it's going to be yours truly, unless it's Johnny, and I'm going to have handsome Jimmy out there standing outside at the ringside to make sure everything goes our way. I might even hire my own special referee. I might even bring my own special referee in from, referee in from New York City. Who knows what I'm going to do, but I will not go down and defeat this time. However, conspicuous by his absence will be Lou Albano, who has nothing at all to do with the Valiant Brothers any longer. At this moment, let's bring on the World Wrestling Federation champion, Bob Baxter, to discuss this title match. You've got your work cut out for you. I'm going to be ready, Vince. You know, I like to go into the professional wrestling ring and think that there's going to be some kind of a wrestling match. There's rules and regulations, and I like to go by them. That's the way I've been coached, and that's the way I've, I've been doing the best. But uh, with a man like Pat Patterson, he sort of pushes you against the wall, Vince. The, uh, he don't let you do that. You're going to have to maybe fight fire with, fire with this man. Uh, he um, is very, very devious in his ways. He's very, very underhanded, and he's very, very sneaky. Very sneaky when the referee's not looking. But this time, I'm going to be just as sneaky as you, Pat Patterson. So if that's what it takes. Apparently, Bob Backlund is ready to get down uh, with Pat Patterson on any level. So with that in mind, let's bring on the number one contender, Pat Patterson, along with the Grand Wizard. Would you believe I've got the world's champion nervous? I've got him shaking in his boots. Why? Because he knows that there's a wrestler in the world today that can take the championship away from him. It's Pat Patterson. Now, I'm telling you, Backlund, this is not going to be a wrestling match. It's going to be a brawl. You started a war, well, I'm going to finish the war, and I'm going to win it. Backlund, I'm telling you, I'm going to make history right here in this crummy town of Baltimore. I am going to be the world's champion plus the intercontinental champion. And McMahon, I want one more word for you and anybody else. If you think you're going to search Pat Patterson before the start of this bout, you're in what for the you have shock. To hide, Grant? We Grant. have nothing to hide. Then why but not let the Because man I don't want him touched by any filthy, unsavory hands. There is no need for it. I heard him upstairs. I got the contract right here. And I'm going to have it in Baltimore, down by the ring. Pat Patterson, you're going to be searched. Guess again, Bob Backlund. You're just like the...